That's the sound of Portage and Maine during one of last Sunday's Jane's Walks. Jane's Walk consists of numerous free, locally organized walking tours in which people get together to explore, talk about, and celebrate their communities. These tours are organized all over the globe, and their goal is to encourage more citizen participation in city planning and design. Jane Jacobs herself wrote in her famous 1957 book, The Death of the American City, that she believes, quote, cities have the capability of providing something for everybody only because and only when they are created by everybody. With that in mind, Wins Bridgman of Bridgman Collaborative Architecture led a group of about 50 Winnipeggers onto Portage in Maine to highlight the need for a more pedestrian-friendly downtown and also to make an announcement at the center of the famous intersection. Portage and Maine will open in 2017. Woo! Woo! And when we say open, we mean open for people. People who are pedestrian. You heard that right. Portage and Maine will reopen for pedestrians in 2017 as per Mayor Brian Bowman's promise. Now the group in the mayor's office didn't offer any information as to what that opening might look like, but last Sunday's walk was more about starting a conversation about reuniting our downtown. Here's what Wins had to say about the potential reopening. It feels in the same way that when I was a young, almost a late teenager I should say, and we discovered that we could stop the Allen Expressway from cutting Toronto in half when Jane Jacobs was there. Um, we are feeling the same way about the possibility for Winnipeg that has been, we believe, cut into quarters and now can be brought together again. The walk proceeded around the Portage and Main area, focusing on hearing people's concerns on creating a more functional downtown. Here's what one downtown resident, Riley McMurray, thought of Sunday's walk. Uh, I think it was a great Jane's walk, and uh, I liked that there was the beginning of some discussions around how can urbanism and everything else that we do be intersectional in terms of looking at how do uh, the struggles of many different groups interact and intersect and how can we address all of those. And some walkers, like Megan Stewart, jumped at the opportunity to experience something from Winnipeg's past. This is my second year going on Jane's Walk and I took this one because who wouldn't want the opportunity to walk across Portage in Maine? Uh, I'm only 24 so it was uh, locked up long before I was born. Well, unfortunately, this year's Jane's Walks have come to a close, so you'll have to wait until next year to take part in all the fun. In the meantime, if you'd like to learn more about Jane's Walks or Jane Jacobs, please visit janeswalk.org for more information or to register to lead a walk of your own next year.